It's been called one of the most deprived communities in Southampton, but for the residents of Town Hill Park, help doesn't look like coming anytime soon. Behind me is a part of the Town Hill Park estate, which has stood here in Southampton since the mid-1960s. However, in much more recent times, it's become a battleground between a Labour councillor and a Conservative one. Since 2012, plans for a mass reconstruction of the area have been drawn up, with 675 new homes, several shops and a new village green here at Megason Avenue all on the agenda. But amid allegations the project is unaffordable, and with some residents already moved out of their homes, the future of the project is on the slide. Jeremy Moulton, leader of the Conservative group, is dismayed at Housing and Sustainability Councillor Warwick Payne for changing the Conservatives' funding model for Town Hill Park. Um, we have had, I forget how many meetings, where we've put the same questions to him. You don't have enough money, so you need to have um, a different you know, funding mechanism. The numbers are absolutely stark. The council has never had enough money, so it's never been a fully funded scheme. Because even if there was enough money to do Town Hill Park, you would blow all the budget over the next few decades and you wouldn't be able to replicate this across the city. But all I know is that he's failed dramatically and I just wish he'd move aside and, and let us get on and finish the job that we started. Understandably, the man in charge of the project is none too happy with Moulton's comments. Warwick Payne insists demolition and building work will take place in 2016 and has hit back uh, yes. at Moulton. We can move the Town Hill Park scheme forward and ironically enough, the Conservative way of delivering Town Hill Park, which they set out in 2012, was actually pronounced by the finance officer, so neutrals at the councils, as being unaffordable at the end of 2014. So had they actually been in charge, their model would have actually fallen flat on its face. The Conservatives have tried to make this a political football, and I don't believe there's any public appetite for it to be a political football. We should all be working together to actually get this estate redeveloped, and it's remarkable how many things that Labour and Conservatives agree on, and it's almost as if the Conservatives are desperately struggling to find something to disagree with us on this scheme over so that they can have a fight. With both sides deflecting the blame on each other, Town Hall Park is certainly caught in a crossfire. One thing's for sure, it's going to take a long time before any real significant investment is to be made around these parts. Ross Perkins, Winchester News Online, Southampton.